everyone. Welcome to Absurd Reality Case File 002, The Chronovisor. Hold on to your butts, boys and girls, because we're about to go deep into something truly fascinating. Today, we're going to wrap about a time travel device called the Chronovisor. It's a machine said to allow a person to view past and future events. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Jesus Christ, Joe, how much weed did you smoke today? A lot. The answer is a lot. Sit back, open your mind, whilst I drop some knowledge. Let's go. The best way I can describe this device is to think of it like a television set. And what it does is it picks up remnants of residual energy and then transforms that energy into a visual image with sound. This alleged machine was secretly developed in the 1950s by a group of scientists led by Father Pellegrino Maria Ernetti, who was an Italian physicist and priest. In addition, Father Ernetti was a world-class authority on archaic music and was perceived to be brilliant among his peers. He was believed to be a man of integrity and high morals and wouldn't be disingenuous regarding any of his work. The development of the chronovisor stemmed from Father Ernetti working at Father Grimelli's electroacoustical laboratory and the Catholic University in Milan. Ernetti theorized that sound and energy dissipates but never really goes away or gets fully eliminated. He then used modern physics and ancient occult technology to create a machine that would tap into the leftover residual energy that's floating all around us in the physical plane. Ernetti explained that it's processing residual electromagnetic radiation left over by numerous processes. Whatever the fuck that means. Ernetti stated that he used this device to witness important historical events, such as Christ dying on the cross and the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's believed that the Vatican has been keeping this machine a secret for years in an attempt to use it for their own personal gain and to keep it out of the hands of, quote, people who can use it to create the scariest dictatorship the world has ever seen. However, there are rumors that the CIA has been using this very device in secret programs since the 1960s, especially since the chronovisors believed to use transistor technology within its working components. Which is interesting because rumor has it that the transistor technology came from reverse engineering alien machinery in down spacecrafts. Relax, I'll get to that in another video. It's also believed that famous rocket scientist Werner von Braun assisted in the development of the chronovisor. Which, for anyone that knows that name, should feel a little tingle in your giblets right about now. The Vatican's been denying these rumors for years, saying the chronovisor never existed. But... For some reason in 1988, they issued a decree which warned that anyone using an instrument of such characteristics would be excommunicated. So let me get this straight. If they thought it was a hoax and they said this machine never existed, why would they ever need to make this statement? It's thought that one of the main reasons the Vatican's keeping this tech a secret is because they found that the historical events viewed through the chronovisor differs greatly from what's being said in the Bible. They're worried that it can cause the destruction of religion worldwide. Sadly, Father Onetti died in 1994 and there hasn't been any new information regarding the chronovisor. Or has there? Recently, whistleblower, time traveler, and planetary explorer Andrew Bassaggio came out of the woodwork and described a similar device used by the CIA and DARPA that quote-unquote captured images and sounds from the past using microwave energy that manipulated the frequency of sound and light waves in order to produce images and audio of past events. Sound familiar? Wait, did you just say time traveler and planetary explorer? Yeah, goddamn right I did! Be on the lookout for that video shortly, it's one of my favorites. I don't know if any of this stuff is true, but it's dope as fuck to think about and extremely entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed this case file. Please do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for everything Absurd Reality. That's it for this case file, we are out.